Welcome to my channel, my name is Little Boy and today I'm going to share with you how to do a very unique lower thirds for your project using Final Cut Pro for free. I know sometimes Final Cut Pro is very very good but for some things I feel like it's a little bit old school especially for lower thirds I feel like I could help you to save some money because it has a lot of subscriptions and monthly plans that you can pay to get all these things but I like to do things I'm very passionate about editing so if you'd like to support my channel subscribe and leave your comment down below I would love to help you with whatever questions you have. I'm gonna jump on Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna show you how to make your own lower thirds. Final Cut has some of them, but nothing really look the way that I want to put in my project. So I'm gonna make my own. We're gonna go to titles, titles. We're gonna put here a basic, basic title. Make the size that you want. I know that I want this time already. I'm gonna hold option and then we're gonna do the other one. Two, because one is gonna be the name of the person, and the second one is gonna be more like what they do. I'm gonna close this so we can have a better view. So his name, let's say, is Luis Ribeiro. I'm gonna drag to the side. And here I already have my font. I'm just gonna do small adjustments because. I feel like the name should be a little bit bigger and now we're gonna go for the info boom and let's say he's a tattoo artist boom here you can change the font if you have your own they use for your brand or for your clients I use a lot Bebas and Buford Pro now that we have their names and their information here I put one the name to pop first and what they do after and everything is gonna disappear together. Let's have a look. Na verdade, a gente ia começar a fazer só a metade do braço, né? Aí tu se animou. I feel like here is already a good timing, so I'm gonna just drag this here. I love to do a little transition instead of just like verdade, a gente... appear like this. So I'm gonna select all of this. Option G. We're gonna create a compound clip. Done. Then here, we're gonna do one, two, three. We're gonna give a cut. And then we're gonna change the size, the scale. And I'm gonna make it here. Nice. And two, I like to do this too. One, two, three, back. Then we cut. And the size is gonna be smaller. And I'm gonna make it here. Boom. Very simple, very easy. You can do whatever you want. Or you can do a little fade. I'm just gonna command Z and command T and everything is gonna be very smooth. Cool, if you wanna add a little bit of movement, you can select the area. They wanna do the adjustment, press transform, go add a little key point. You're gonna say after here, we're gonna do something. So that's solid. We're gonna go to the area that you're gonna move Select the frame, add another point, so you say, from here to here, this is gonna happen. I want this phone to move a tiny bit, so I'm gonna hold shift and drag to the side, and then you have, again, command T. Easy, simple. Now you have a little bit of model from my project. I hope that you can apply to yours as well. And feel free, be creative, and let me know if this video was helpful, okay? Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.